Hey everybody, Ryan from Bola Development here, and I want to show you how I'm going to do a relief carving on this board right here. I picked this up from a local craft store for like, it was about six dollars. <laughs> Doggy, I'm glad you got me out of there. What is this boy talking to me? Yeah, I'm the space cowboy. Now why don't you make like Michelangelo and set me free from the stone? Well, this is uh, a first for me. But let's see what I can do. Let's make a relief carving. To start the project, you'll see that I've taken a printout of what I'm looking to carve and basically put it on some transfer paper and tape that into place. You want to make sure that it's really snug so that you don't miss any spots. Then once I've penciled over it, you peel it away and your transfer paper has left a nice pencil sketch. You're going to get pretty dirty though. Then I take a pen, ink over that, I'm just using a Micron 5 and a regular old pencil to do this. And then we take it out to the garage where I will then begin the carving. Something to keep in mind during this process is that this video is way sped up, so this was actually a really long time elapsing here. You can turn your board to get better angles. You'll see me doing that there. Always consult your picture because you want to make sure you don't carve out any deep spots that aren't supposed to be there. Once you're done, sand the grooves and you're ready to paint. I like to use this magnifying glass, it has an LED light on it, and it can help me see a lot of these tiny grooves. And you got big meaty claws like I do, it can help with those fine spots. So you'll see I just paint the outline, and I'm basically just getting everything laid out so that I can know where all my colors are supposed to go, and you can see the details start to emerge from the wood. Then once that outline's done, I can start filling in with my colored paint. Hey, you think you can get your watermelon head out of the shot? Space Cowboy, hush. A great thing about painting on wood is that you can use your sandpaper to come in and clean up the edges. So I did a lot of that and we're just going back and forth here finalizing all the details to make everything pop with the final picture. The last step is to apply some feed in wax just to kind of seal in the board and the paint and then it's all good to go. I was happy with the final result. All right, and so we've finished our relief carving. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I'd say that's a relief. Well, before we go, what do we tell the people at home? Yeah!